After the minions are captured and turned into zombies with a special serum, Gru will have to face a mutant threat to save his family. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Despicable Me 2, from 2013. In a secret laboratory in the Arctic, two workers are playing cards when they notice that their coins are being sucked up into the sky. Seconds later, a strange ship in the shape of a giant magnet appears in the clouds and begins to attract everything made of metal. The workers try to defend themselves, but it's no use, as the ship pulls the entire lab up and takes it away. Three weeks later, the head of the Anti-Villain League, better known as the AVL, sends their agent, Lucy, to recruit an expert who can shed light on what happened. Gru is a retired supervillain who is celebrating his adopted daughter Agnes' birthday with her sisters Margot and Edith. While Gru takes care of the food, the girls play with the minions at a medieval-themed party. However, the actress who was booked to play Princess Charming hasn't turned up and Gru doesn't want to disappoint Agnes. He dresses up as the princess and starts to climb down from the top of the castle with the help of the minions, but the little ones get distracted and the princess falls face first to the ground. Even so, Gru remains in character, which makes the birthday girl very happy. Princess Gruzapunzel tells all the children to go and eat cake, and soon afterwards Agnes claims to know that this is her adoptive father in costume. During the party, Jillian, one of the guests, tries to find Gru a girlfriend, but the former villain isn't interested and sends the woman away with a jet of water. Hours later, while out for a walk with his dog, Gru meets Lucy, who introduces herself and asks him to accompany her. Feeling threatened, the man doesn't think twice before pulling out his freezing gun, but Lucy counters with a flaming pistol. She then pulls out her shock lipstick and manages to immobilize Gru. The agent then carries him to her car, but as he is very heavy, Lucy has to make a lot of effort to get him into the trunk. Just then, two minions who were standing nearby realize what's happening and run towards the car to save Gru. One of them manages to climb into the trunk, but the other slips and is pulled out by his colleague. The car speeds off and the minion being pulled crashes into a cardboard box, which ends up serving as a makeshift trolley. But during a bend in the road, he crashes into a clothesline and a sheet gets caught in his body. Thanks to the wind, the sheet makes the minion float. However, Lucy sees what's happening through the windshield and breaks the car causing the two minions to be thrown and enter the car through the opening in the roof. The two try to defend themselves, but the woman uses her shock lipstick and they pass out. Lucy then accelerates the car towards a bridge and falls into the sea. She then presses a button and the vehicle transforms into a submarine, which takes her to a secret base. Inside, she frees Gru and the minions and they are introduced to the director of the AVL, Silas Ramsbottom. He tells them that the anti-villain league monitors serious crimes, as was the case with Gru when he stole the moon. Lucy explains the case of the laboratory that was stolen in the Arctic and says that it produced the PX-41 serum, which is capable of turning animals into violent mutants. Silas says that he managed to track down the serum in a shopping mall and that Gru's mission is to find out who stole it. However, Gru doesn't accept the mission, as he is now an exemplary father and businessman, so he decides to leave. On his way out of the submarine, he finds a small dinghy, but before he leaves, Lucy appears and hands him a card, saying that if he changes his mind, all he has to do is call. Back at his house, Gru gets the girls ready for bed, but Edith asks about the romantic date Jillian had arranged for him. Immediately, the man says he's not going on any dates and Edith asks him if he's afraid to go. This question reminds him of a childhood trauma, when he tried to deliver a flower to a girl and everything went wrong. Gru then ends the conversation, says goodbye to the girls and goes to his underground laboratory. There, Dr. Nefario is producing a line of jams and jellies for Gru's new company but they taste so bad that no one approves. To make matters worse, he reveals that he misses life as a villain and tells him that he's got a better opportunity at another lab. In gratitude for his services, Gru and the minions throw a farewell party for the doctor. Meanwhile, other minions are cleaning the house, but someone knocks on the door and catches one of them without anyone noticing. The next day, the sisters are trying to arrange a meeting for Gru, but he again says he has no interest and announces that he has accepted a VL's offer. Afterwards, Gru and the minions go to the mall indicated by the head of the agency in search of the thief of the PX-41 serum. While Gru is investigating a sweet store, Lucy appears and tells him that she will be his new partner. He doesn't like the idea very much, but has no choice but to accept. The pair start investigating the store owners to find the suspect, but suddenly Eduardo, the owner of a restaurant on the other side of the mall, appears. He orders a batch of cupcakes from the store and leaves, but Gru notices a similarity between this man and a villain called El Macho. The new AVL spy then says that El Macho was so powerful that he could steal strong cars with his bare hands. One day, he was presumed perished when he jumped into a volcano, 
but his body was never found. Lucy then tells them to break into Eduardo's restaurant and find out if he really is the villain who stole the PX41 serum and Gru agrees to the plan. That night, Gru goes to put the girls to bed, but Agnes reminds her father that he had promised to rehearse the school play for Mother's Day. The man agrees and realizes that the girl isn't acting very well. Agnes says she can't act in the play because she doesn't have a mother. Gru feels bad about this, but tells her to use her imagination and pretend she has a mother. Agnes accepts her father's advice and goes to sleep. Meanwhile, the minions are having a party in the underground factory, but Gru shows up and summons two of them, Kevin and Jerry, to keep an eye on the girls. Inside the house, the two put Agnes to sleep and go to play golf, but they hear a strange noise coming from outside. The minions go to investigate, but are abducted by a white light coming from the sky. Meanwhile, Gru and Lucy return to the mall and sneak into Eduardo's restaurant. Inside, Gru accidentally triggers a trap and opens a door, from which a chicken comes out. The two think everything is safe, but the chicken jumps on Gru and starts pecking at his face. The man manages to get away, but the animal gets into his shirt and attacks him again. With a lot of effort, Lucy manages to get the chicken away from Gru. Before it has a chance to escape, the agent shoots it and the bird gets stuck in a glass container. After solving this problem, the pair walk into the kitchen and find a safe hidden behind the painting. Gru uses a device to open the safe and finds a glass vial, but it wasn't the mutagenic serum, but a secret sauce recipe. Just then, Eduardo arrives at the restaurant door and realizes that his establishment has been broken into. He runs to the kitchen, but Gru uses his laser gun to cut a hole in the ceiling and manages to escape with his partner. Gru calls the minions to rescue them and they enter the mall using Lucy's car. However, none of them know how to drive and they drive around the mall in circles, hitting everything in front of them. When the minions manage to stop the car, Lucy takes the wheel and drives through the mall window, but before she hits the ground, she activates a button that turns the vehicle into a spaceship and everyone flees. The next morning, an ice cream truck drives down the street where Gru lives and the minions rush to buy it. But the truck has a tube that sucks all the minions inside and they are taken away. Back at the mall, Gru and Lucy are hiding in trash cans while investigating yet another suspect. When one of the visitors tries to throw a piece of trash into the can, Gru runs and ends up falling down the escalator. After recovering from his fall, the man meets his daughters, who were there to visit him. Soon after, Lucy appears and Gru introduces her to the girls, but Agnes is the one who is most charmed by the woman and asks if they are going to get married. Gru sidesteps the issue and tells the girls to leave, while Lucy is surprised to see how much they like their adoptive father. Meanwhile, Gru continues his search for suspects, this time using a belt to detect the PX41 serum. When he enters a wig store, he tries to get close to any suspicious object that might set off the belt's alarm, but nothing happens. However, when Gru approaches a display case with several wigs, his belt is triggered and he suspects that the serum is on the other side of the wall. Immediately, the agent begins his search and the store owner doesn't understand what Gru is doing, but offers him one of his wigs. Gru wonders whether to accept the wig or not, but before he can decide, Edith and Agnes enter the store, saying that Margot is on a date with a boy from the mall. Jealous, Gru goes to look for Margot and finds her and a boy entering Eduardo's restaurant. Inside, he discovers that the boy's name is Antonio and that he is Eduardo's son, who shows up soon after. The restaurant owner hugs Gru, not suspecting that he had broken into his restaurant the night before, although his chicken, called Poyito, knows everything that has happened and looks at Gru suspiciously. Eduardo then realizes that Antonio and Margot like each other and decides to invite her, her sisters and Gru to the May 5th party. Even against their father's wishes, the girls accept the invitation. Sometime later, Gru goes to the AVL base and accuses Eduardo of being El Macho and that his son is also involved in the theft of the serum. His sudden attitude is because he's jealous of his daughter's new boyfriend. After that, the minions who were captured by the ice cream truck appear on an island paradise, but it's just an illusion created by an unknown scientist. While the minions remain imprisoned, Gru is at home and Jillian knocks on the door, intending to introduce another one of her friends. This time, the man can't escape and has to go on a date with Shannon. The two go to a restaurant and Gru is wearing the wig he picked up at the mall store. While talking to Shannon, he soon realizes that they don't have much in common. Just then, Lucy appears in the restaurant and sees the two of them talking. Out of curiosity and a little jealousy, she uses a device to listen to the conversation and notices that Shannon is annoyed to discover that Gru is wearing a wig. Just as the woman was about to rip off Gru's wig, Lucy fires a tranquilizer dart, which causes the woman to pass out on top of the food. Gru is happy to see the agent and the two of them take Shannon away, but as Lucy's car is small, they have to carry the passed out woman on top of the roof. 
After dropping Shannon off at home, Gru and Lucy talk about other bad dates they've had in the past and realize how much fun that night was for both of them. Before saying goodbye, Lucy tells him that she prefers Gru bald and kisses him goodbye. The next morning, Gru wakes up very happy and prepares breakfast for the girls. On his way to work, he greets everyone on the street and even does yoga with the ladies in the park. However, when he arrives at the mall, the agent finds Silas arresting the owner of the wig store. He says that a sample of the PX41 serum was found in a secret room inside the store and that this makes the man the criminal they were looking for. With the crime apparently solved, Gru is free to return to his normal life, while Agent Lucy is transferred to Australia. Seconds later, she shows up to say goodbye to Gru, but before she leaves she gives him her shock lipstick as a parting gift. Saddened by the news, Gru walks dejectedly in the rain. In front of the house, Agnes appears to comfort him and hands him an umbrella. Gru then confesses to the girl that he used to like Lucy, but now she's going away. Agnes then asks if there's anything she can do and Gru decides to call Lucy to ask her out on a date. However, while he's working up the courage to call her, he gets very nervous and burns the phone with a flamethrower. Some minions show up to put out the fire, but they only cause more destruction inside the house. Meanwhile, the captured minions remain on the fake Paradise Island, until the mysterious scientist pulls a lever and sucks Kevin down a tube into the sea. When he is sucked in, the little guy ends up in a chair that leaves him trapped, while next to him, another captured minion is in the same situation. Suddenly, this minion has the PX41 serum injected into his body and turns into a mutant. Kevin is also contaminated by the substance. Moments later, Gru and the girls are on their way to the May 5th party organized at Eduardo's house. There, the girls start having fun, especially Margot and her boyfriend, Antonio, which makes Gru very jealous. Minutes later, he walks alone to a table, still thinking about Lucy. At that moment, Eduardo appears and tries to comfort his friend, saying that he knows what it's like to suffer from a broken heart. After that, the restaurant owner leaves and goes into a room. As he still suspects him of being El Macho, Gru decides to follow him. As he crosses a corridor, he sees Eduardo stepping on some sound floors, which serve as a code to open a secret passage. Gru tries to do the same, but ends up getting the sequence wrong and activates dangerous traps that shoot fire, arrows and even axes. Fortunately, he survives and manages to activate the code to open the door, which leads to an elevator. Meanwhile, Lucy is on a plane on her way to Australia and tries to distract herself by reading a magazine, but all the images remind her of Gru. Her longing for him only increases, to the point where she sees her ex-partner's face on every passenger. Realizing how much she loves Gru, Lucy decides to jump out of the plane and head for her beloved. Meanwhile, Gru finally finds Eduardo's secret base and confirms his suspicions that he is El Macho. In addition to the ship that stole the laboratory in the Arctic being in this secret base, El Macho appears and explains to Gru his plan for world domination. To make his dream come true, he has called Dr. Nefario to work on his new experiment, which consists of using the PX-41 serum on the minions. In this way, El Macho has created an army of mutant minions, who are indestructible and capable of wiping out anyone who tries to stop his evil plan. However, El Macho has no plans to take over the world on his own and invites Gru to join him, as he has always admired his work as a supervillain. Gru pretends to agree while trying to escape, without El Macho realizing his real intentions. Returning to the party, Gru looks for his daughters to take them away, but Margot is sitting alone at the table, sad because Antonio has left her for another girl. Gru comforts his daughter and takes her away, but not before taking revenge on Antonio by firing his freezing gun at him. As soon as Gru and his daughters leave the party, Lucy lands there on a hang glider and looks for him. There, she meets Eduardo, who already knew that she was working with Gru for a VL and takes her prisoner. When they get home, Gru reveals Eduardo's identity to the girls, but soon after, he receives a message from Dr. Nefario, saying that El Macho has captured Lucy. Gru then summons the minions and rides his motorcycle to the villain's house to rescue his beloved. Meanwhile, Kevin, now a mutant minion, arrives at Gru's house and tries to attack Agnes and Margot. While trying to escape from Kevin, Agnes ends up knocking over her toy unicorn and the mutant minion tries to devour it, but at that moment, the girl fires her powerful scream, leaving Kevin bewildered. Margot then takes her sister to the underground laboratory via the elevator, but Kevin manages to catch up with them. Edith, who was already there, joins the sisters to protect them, but before the mutant minion can attack them, Dr. Nefario appears and injects the antidote into Kevin, who returns to normal. Back at El Macho's palace, Gru paints his minions purple to look like mutants and pretends to have been captured by them in order to get in. 
The plan works and they pass through the gate, however, one of the minions ends up arguing with one of the mutants and, because of this, saliva begins to drip from their mouths. The minion's purple paint begins to fade because of the saliva and the fake is revealed. The mutants become enraged and chase Gru and his minions inside the palace. The only way out for them is to climb a tree in the middle of the garden, but the mutants start devouring the trunk to bring it down. Fortunately, the trio manage to climb up in time to reach the roof. The chase continues and Gru and the minions run towards a tower, but the mutants begin to surround them and there is no chance of escape. However, at the last moment, Dr. Nefario appears in a spaceship and starts shooting the antidote mixed with the jelly from Gru's factory, and the mutants who were hit return to normal. Afterwards, Dr. Nefario apologized and explained to Gru that he wanted to be a villain again, but that he wouldn't let anyone hurt his family. Because of this, he decided to abandon El Macho's plans. Gru thanks them, but then gets angry when he realizes that the doctor has also brought the girls on the ship. Even so, everyone grabs their antidote jelly guns and starts shooting all the mutants, who gradually regain consciousness. Gru then confronts El Macho in an attempt to force him to give up his plan and return Lucy. However, the villain has one more card up his sleeve, a remote control capable of sending Lucy in a rocket full of explosives to the volcano where he faked his perishment in the past. Fortunately, one of the minions manages to wrest control from the villain's hands, but he doesn't intend to give up so easily. So El Macho takes a glass containing the PX-41 serum and drinks it, transforming into a gigantic mutant. Gru tries to use his gun with the antidote, but it's empty. The mutant then tries to crush him with his arms, but Gru uses his freezing gun to trap him and flees the scene. The villain then goes after him and grabs a pole to smash Gru, but at that moment, he remembers the shock lipstick he got from Lucy and shoots El Macho, who falls defeated. The minions then set out to take revenge on the villain, but Dr. Nefario appears and, instead of shooting the jelly with the antidote, uses his stinking gun to knock him unconscious. However, there's still no time to celebrate the victory, as Gru has to run to the rocket to free Lucy. Near the spot where the controller fell, the chicken appears and presses the button, activating the rocket. Immediately, Gru grabs hold of the vehicle and starts cutting the tethers to free Lucy, but the rocket is speeding towards the volcano. Unsure if they'll make it out alive, Gru asks Lucy if she'll go out with him, and she says yes. The two then jump out of the rocket, which explodes inside the volcano, and fall into the middle of the ocean, safe and sound. Soon afterwards, the minions arrive in their lifeboat to rescue them, but the couple want to enjoy this moment together a little more. 147 dates after surviving the rocket, Gru and Lucy are celebrating their wedding to the sound of a song sung by the minions in the middle of a flowery field. After the ceremony, Agnes proposes a toast and recites the Mother's Day play, this time with much more emotion than before and dedicating the speech to Lucy, her new mother. Everyone then gets together to do a photo shoot when, suddenly, a minion still infected with the serum appears, screaming in front of the camera. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.